Hey guys, it's Devon and today we'll be doing a series of accessory reviews from the Crash Beat'em Online. Today, we'll be reviewing about the 026 Trick Cannon. So, let's take a look at the box. So here is the Trick Cannon itself with Iron Odin. Here on top is an image of the Trick Cannon. At the bottom is just um, literature along with the um, logo. I think it's inside there. And over here in the side, we just have a, a picture of a Trick Cannon and Iron Odin along with its um, different customization features. Here on the other side, it's just a regular Beta Ball or Bidama. Then over here at the back is um, Iron Odin itself um, with the Trick Cannon so you could swap it on either side. Then over here, the gimmick about the Trick Cannon is that you could perform um, Trick Shots. So you have left and right spin and you also have a power shot and also a back spin. So over here, you, um, they just show you a feature on um, how you shoot the Iron Odin or the Trick Cannon. Then here it's just a promo for the arena or how you could possibly play Beatamon um, using the crash line. So without further ado, let's open the box. And here are the sprues along with the instructions, figure sheet, and springs. So let's just get our handy dandy nipper and start our montage. And here is the overview of the materials we need for assembly. Okay guys, so we're back. Um, I already placed the sticker sheet for this one so that when I um, test it out, I won't easily get confused. Okay. So you take this part right here, the one with the slot. The one with the slot, it is where you put this one. one with the slot, the back piece, then you just insert it inside like so. So again, I'll just adjust my light. So this piece, just put it inside here, like so. Then you take this white piece, there's a hole over there, and this is where you tab it in. I'm not sure if you can see that properly. There, that hole over there. And just tab it in like so, just give it a little push, and there we are. The next step, is for us to put these together along with a spring. So what I like to do is I take the spring, some people put them last, but I like um, putting it first because I do have a firm grip. Then you insert this. You insert this on this side because there's a hole here. It's gonna be facing here. And I got the trigger upside down. So again, pull the spring back. One of the holes are down, just insert it, then click. So it's just gonna be like that. Next, for a third step, we'll get this part, this part right here, then we'll be placing this guy. See that? So again, take this piece, then this piece together, just slot in like so. Then take this piece, make sure it's facing in the right direction. Then just leave it there like so. Next step is to just close these parts together. Next is for us to attach this part over here. Attach it to the bottom. Right, yeah. Like so. There we go. It just clicks into place there. Afterwards, um, let's see the five, six. Just put the two rings together. Um, they do have holes here and under, so make sure that you slot them in place. So like, yeah, there's like a opening here and there's like a peg here. Or aligning it. There we go. And for this part. 
so everything is perfectly aligned. And so we just take this and then just slot it into place. Wow, that's tight. Hmm. There you go. All right, so here is the tread cannon itself. So here, let's take a look at the back and look at the different um, modes that it has. Since I cannot um, understand Japanese, we'll be using the box label to determine which shot is which. So first, here is the red version or the red mode. So the red is a drive shot because it just shoots straight. And as you can see here from the bottom, or from the inside, the white um, drive strip is facing here. So it's gonna allow for a drive shot to occur. Then if we spin it over here to the blue mode, so the blue mode and the, let's see, the blue mode and the pink mode offer both left and right. So there's blue, this is purple. Purple offers the back spin. Then here is the other direction shot, which is the pink one. So as you can see, the um, white strip, I'm sorry, it's very hard to see, but just take a closer look. As we are moving it, the white strip is moving as well. So that's what gives it the different angles for the shots. So just like Lord Cavalry, but the um, good thing about this is that it can shoot twice. So it can shoot from the bottom here, giving the direction. And this one just offers a straight shot like that. So let's do some test shots. Here is a firing demo of the 026 Trick Cannon. So let's just load up with one marble. We are on power mode. Then let's try to focus on our crash tower over there. Then fire a um, drive shot. Another one. So as you can see, it just went inside. There we go, there. And let's try to do a backspin. Let's just aim for the crash tower again. So as you can see, the marble just came running back. Let's try to aim at one of the pillars there. Pink or left spin. As you can see, it went to the left, blue, or right spin. As you can see, the marble went to the right side. Let's try that again. Let's just do some power shots until the crash tower goes down. Then let's do a double shot. So it's gonna fire two Bidama. Get our last cabinet over there. Try that again. And this concludes our review of the 026 Trick Cannon from the Crash Beatemon line by Takara. Thanks for watching, and for all things Beatemon and Bottleman, see you in the next video.